Right, I just want to show you this small clip, okay? Uh, it's of a guy called David Harrison. I've met him through YouTube, and uh, as you can see, or as you will about to see, he's an extremely fast bricklayer, <laughs> uh, to say the least. So, uh, yeah, he competes, or he's competed in the spec mix over in the States. Um, and this video, five or so minutes, is a clip taken from the full hour where he's practicing for the competition. So he's got his setup and uh, he's, he's just in training basically to go and to compete in the States. Uh, in this hour, uh, he does 780 bricks. I think that's about right. Um, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you know, if any of you have seen the uh, world record of Bob Ball set in the 80s, I think it is, or yeah, 80s, of like 918 in an hour. Uh, it's pretty impressive to see, but he is slapping it up. You know, the motor's going everywhere. If you look at David here, he's doing pick and dip, and he's so efficient. The mortar is not going everywhere. It's all going on the wall, and he's really got a seriously good technique on the go, going one way, and then a different technique going the other way. Um, and if if you check out the speed, it's just unreal. Okay, so he's using the back, picking it up with the back of his trowel. Um, he's laying. If you notice as well, a lot of the time, he's, well, not, not so much going this way, but going the other way, he's picking up enough mortar um, for two bricks, which is how I actually got, in touch, got speaking to him, because on a couple of my videos, um, I've got this kind of method where I've put enough mortar out it's a pick and dip variation basically, but I've put enough more trout for uh, to lay two bricks and I don't, not everyone's doing it, some people do it, but this guy mentioned to me that he used a similar technique and he called it something propel and um, he suggested I should n name it Hurl and Propel because my last name is Hurlstone. Uh, so I kind of, I, I've done a video calling it Hurl and Propel, it's had quite a few views uh, on YouTube. So. But this is how it's done. You know what I mean? I'm just playing at it. This is how it's done. If you watch in a minute, he's building a corner now, because that's the other thing he does. Um, he just does small corners, unlike Bob Ball, who does the big monster corners. Uh, David just does small three-course corners at a time and runs it in. <clears throat> and if you notice, he's a left-hander, so it might seem a little bit alien, um, you know, if you're watching it and you're a right-hander. But on the way back now, is where he really lets rip with this uh, hurl and propel method. Uh, and I would, I know pick and dip's not for everybody, I totally get that, but here is proof that it is absolutely rapid. Um, you know, give it a go on Concrete Commons. If you haven't, if you haven't done it before, I would recommend it, but maybe give it a go on Concrete Commons or something where uh, it's not seen until you get the hang of it. Um, and I'm still I'm undecided on whether it's something that you can teach to an apprentice. I don't really know because I've I've learnt it um, at a later age after learning how to lay in like a traditional way. So I just don't know if it's something that somebody could pick up. If they, if can you imagine if somebody could only do pick and dip and they couldn't do normal brick laying? I don't know if that would work. So I'm guessing that an apprentice would probably be better off learning to lay in a traditional way. And then uh, having the pick and dip as a addition to his uh, options for laying, you know. Um, right. So if you look now, David's laying the other way, uh, going up that way, and there you go. Enough mortar for two bricks. Okay. And look at the speed. You just when compared to one brick at a time, which is David does absolutely rapidly. This is even quicker, you know. This is pushing on for 17 bricks a minute, um, and like I say, for the full hour, this was 780, I think it was. Um, he went over to the competition, he was poorly, he was ill, and I think he only did 600 on the day, which is absolutely phenomenal, anyway. But he was disappointed with it after he's he knows he can do so many more, as this video proves. Uh, if any of you are interested, let me know and I'll get hold of the full hour and um, put it on here. Obviously, this is just a clip, a video of a video, uh, but it still gives you the 
idea of the speed of this guy and had the speed of how fast to pick a dip is okay so that's the end of that clip but yeah um just give us a shout if you into this sort of thing i know it's not all about speed i get that um and i'll i'm happy enough laying on site you know for bricks and it it's no problem it's still earn good money uh and you can be you know have pride in your in your work but a lot of people hate on us for doing the pick and dip saying it's rough and stuff but uh and i think that proves that video there just proves how efficient it is and there's not more to flying everywhere if you go and watch bob ball's uh, record attempt or his world record uh yeah there's probably about i bet by the end of it i'm not hating on him i think he's fantastic but i bet there's mortar on the floor this deep you know i didn't see any mortar drop then uh, apart from maybe when he's building the corner but um when he was running in there was the motor was going exactly where he wanted it to go right i'm I'm rambled on enough for now, but I just wanted to show you uh, how quick that is. Okay.